up drama divas welcome back to christine does drama so today i'm going to be doing the latest scandal review and it's entitled where's that black lady which is now my new catchphrase where's that black lady where is she so before i get started i just want to let you know that i just saw a clip on youtube from the jimmy kimmel show and scott foley who plays jake was on um, jimmy kimmel and he was talking about how he got into beef with william shatner so i'm going to leave the link in below it's a really funny video i love scott foley i've loved him for a really long time i remember he used to be in dawson's creek and i loved dawson's creek back in the day so i'll leave that link in the description box and let's just get started with this week's review so our girl olivia she's still in mortal danger I really miss Olivia stalking around Washington with her white hat, fixing people's problems. I really miss her in that role and now she's all captive and her hair's all out of whack and she just looks so scared. So I really miss old Olivia and she is being held up um, for ransom. So um, last week's episode was kind of a really Olivia centered episode and this week is like the fallout from her being kidnapped. So we see Fitz in the White House saying, I want everybody, the FBI, the Secret Service, every single person who could help me get Olivia back. But the Vice President, Andrew, he's already like got involved in this. Like he already knows that this is what Fitz is gonna do. So he hired some people to say, don't do that. Uh-uh. If you do that, Olivia will be beheaded. So. Like Fitz is so scared because he they're also saying that, you know, we're watching you at all times, even in the toilet. I was just like, whoa, these people aren't playing. And then you see um Melly talking to Fitz saying, like, you know, I did sleep with Andrew and I, I really want us two to work. And he's like, shh. Cause he doesn't know. <laughs> Someone could be listening and she's a bit offended. But he is really struggling. You see the like the pain on his face. Like he's just so distressed. Like you see him drinking, his hands shaking. He wants Olivia back. And all he has to do to get Olivia back, just a small, tiny little thing. He has to declare war on West Angola. So innocent people have to die so that Fitz gets like Olivia back, which is insane. But I thought for one moment that Fitz probably wouldn't do that. Because in the real world, Olivia would have died but because Fitz like has to obviously he has to save um Olivia for the show <laughs> of course he chose that he was going to save Olivia and I love that scene where he spoke to Melly on the balcony and she's just like this isn't all for nothing like do you love her and he's like yeah and he's like well you know what to do you've got to save her so guys i am going straight to hell for this one when i saw um huck in elizabeth's um house with her daughter saying that he's gonna slit her throat if you don't tell me where olivia is i was like yeah do it get her get the daughter i'm going to hell for that aren't i for saying that but i mean i don't have a connection with um, elizabeth's daughter i have a connection with olivia okay i've been watching her for four seasons so obviously i want her to be captured but <laughs> I was like, yeah, go on, Huck. Do what you do. Get that bitch. <laughs> Not the daughter, Elizabeth. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so when he got her by the throat, I thought it was really, um, I thought it's back to Huck's best that he's really going going to help Olivia. I was so proud of, proud of him. <laughs> I'm going to hell. So Olivia is so damn smart to get that water glass. She asked for water because they made her read um, a statement saying that she's been held captive and she was crying and she didn't really want to say it but they made her say it and then Ian, that devilish man, got her glass of water and she held it up so that they can see his reflection. I thought that's such a genius idea and it's so great how Huck picked up on that. Where is that black lady? <laughs> I love that line. That little old lady just made me laugh so much this episode. So we all know that the woman that she's talking about is obviously Olivia, but the other woman that she's looking for is that woman who tragically died last um, episode who lived across the way from Olivia. And so um, Quinn figures it out that Olivia was in that house and they see that ring that she dropped last episode. So Olivia's left what Huck's calling breadcrumbs to, to show to to show because Olivia wants to show them that she's she's okay so that's probably why she dropped the ring so that they know that she was in the house and that to try and connect the dots so um Huck was able to get um the white the wi-fi dis device and he was able to then um take that back to Olivia Pope and Associates and he was able to try and um 
find out who it is that are that are being who it is that are holding Olivia captive which I thought was a really genius idea Huck is smart as well very very smart so David Rosen almost became the hero of this episode um Jake went to him because he he found out where Olivia was and so um David Rosen sent a arm a drug enforcement um team to go to this place where Olivia was and unfortunately she already left because she had convinced Ian to sell her on the black market I, for a second, was really upset. I was like, oh, she almost got saved. Oh, why don't she just stay there? But I don't think it's going to be as easy as that. Even if they had saved her, I don't think they would have left her alone. I think it would have just become messy. I think this way, with Olivia playing Ian and stuff, I think it'll, this is going to be a more successful and cleaner break because they will find her and she will get out of it but I think all the players of the game need to be taken out people like Ian probably need to die um I think that the pres Andrew needs to get played you know what I mean like it just can't be as easy as them taking her back because that I think they can easily take her again so I think it's a little bit more complex than that so I'm really happy that it's going down this route whoa did you see what um Huck did to Elizabeth's back I was like whoa I mean I knew I wanted him to get information from her and I knew that Huck would do that successfully but her back was just messed up like whoa yeah anyway so Melly successfully um, seduced Andrew she's just the queen isn't she Melly she managed to seduce Andrew took his phones able to, was able to give that to Olivia Pope and Associates and they were able to track Olivia and Olivia it was now on a plane with Ian um, who was trying to sell her on the black market and he was telling he, he telling Fitz he rang Fitz up and said look you know the highest bidder gets Olivia so it's going to be a very interesting week next week I'm loving loving scandal at the moment it's just electric so guys I've come to the end of another scandal review where is that black lady <laughs> I just love that line so make sure you subscribe to my channel because i do scandal reviews every single week like this video and make sure you leave your comments about what you enjoyed about this episode and i'll see you soon drama divas Bye.